There's fun and learning around the bend. You can even do it with your best friend. If there's science stuff that you like to know, come watch Allie and Coco Science Show. Hey guys, welcome to Ellen Coco Science Show. I just went to my local plant sale and I picked up quite a few things, um, probably too many. But one thing I picked up was this aquatic milkweed and a couple of friends. So this right here, the aquatic milkweed is native from Illinois down to Florida. And this is a monarch butterfly larvae. We actually have two friends and they only eat on the milkweed. The female monarch butterfly will lay its eggs on the milkweeds and they go through about five instars. So they get bigger and bigger, shedding their skin, and then they'll create a um, cocoon. It's really pretty. So we're gonna take a look at these guys. We're gonna see uh, if they survive. So it's kind of like a fun experiment. So, so we'll kind of keep you updated on these guys. scaring my caterpillars okay you barked and you made them jump a little and that's just that's really mean okay really Colette what are you doing Monarch update, this guy's still munching, and I believe this one is shedding its skin soon. It's been sitting really still all day, um, so maybe I can catch that one, that'd be exciting. She is going crazy in the yard right now. On the day three, we have this guy's munching, fifth instar, and we've got another one in its same instar. So it looks like that one molted. I don't see any of the skin. Maybe he ate it, maybe they ate it. I don't know, but isn't that exciting? At this point, they're gonna eat, I was reading like a leaf an hour, so I'm hoping I have enough leaves. My milkweed's a bit shabby, so.
Yeah. Is it a friend? Yeah. So guys, my yard is just so big. There's a lot of lilies in my yard. So I asked my friend and I looked on a couple websites to see if this is okay. And it is, as long as you've got some twigs and leaf litter, put some more milkweed in there, and he'll do his thing. So, hopefully. <laughs> Look at our new, our new sibling. Bless. Okay, go get it then. Go ahead. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Wow. So I'm just going to put that back here. The journey continues. Woohoo. I uh, came outside and that caterpillar that was sitting on that leaf that was, I was excited about got eaten and I was all upset. And then I look under this leaf. We've got one right here. And I look over. Did you see him? I picked the grossest penny, but look, it doesn't even have antenna yet, guys. been about two weeks and you can see what used to be a green and gold cocoon chrysalis you can see through into you can see the wings of the butterfly this is so exciting we are still in the chrysalis but you can see that orange um the reason i'm holding him you don't really want to um bother them but we had somebody not mentioning names jostle the jar and he fell in the water at the bottom so a little bit worried about him, so I'm going to pin him up with this needle and hope for the best. crawling up me um hi it is actually a male you see that black spot on his wing right there that indicates he's a male female student who oh, do not have that black spot let's put you over here on this piece of cardboard This is exciting. I put sugar water on my finger and he licked it off of me with his proboscis. So, cute.
You gotta go a little bit further. Not in the planter. It's over there. Go over there. It's not on the plant. What is that over there? There it is! Good girl. That was a magic trick, wasn't it? Huh. Isn't that crazy?